Just at 5 o'clock, a Katusa family is in shock this evening after a man was arrested during their grandson's field trip. That man accused of hurting 11 children. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Shannon Brousseau. And I'm Craig Day. Police say the man was on the field trip with the kids, and he told officers he was trying to make sure the children didn't get hurt on a piece of playground equipment. And the family tells News on 6 is Jordan Tidwell this should never have happened. Jordan? Craig and Shannon, a grandparent on the field trip, says it was a great day and everyone was having so much fun and it was never supposed to end like this. Susan Whitelock says she never expected her 11-year-old grandson's school field trip to end the way it did. I, I never saw any indication while at the aquarium or before I left the park of anybody being upset about anything. It was, it was a fun, fun day. She says they were at the Jinx Aquarium and then stopped at Veterans Park to have lunch and play. She says she had to leave early, but then later heard kids were hurt. Well, my first thought was, oh my God, I left. I left my grandson there. I wished I'd have been there to protect him or help the other kids that had been hurt. Jinx police say they got a call that a man was attacking children and parents were confronting him. Brandon Hathaway told police he was a parent on the field trip and the kids were playing on the merry-go-round. He told officers he thought the kids were going to get hurt, so he was taking them off. Jinx police say the kids told officers Hathaway was hurting them. Police say 11 kids had minor but visible injuries. I was angry that somebody, anybody, would think that that's something that would, is okay to do to any child, let alone as many as their claiming was hurt. Whitelock says while her grandson wasn't hurt, this entire situation has her in shock, and she's worried about the lasting impact this could have on the other kids. The kids were supposed to be safe. Who expects something like that to happen in the middle of something like that? Hadaway has been booked into the Tulsa, Tulsa County Jail on 11 counts of child abuse, and I did call Catoosa Public School for comment, but I have not heard back. Live in Jinx, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.